Hi, I'm Carrie Elizabeth Godfrey, and I'm playing Annette in Lexham Arts' God of Carnage at Dreamland Arts in May 11th through the 19th, <laughs> 18th. Um, and we were given a list of questions and to review, and I had a really hard time picking one or two, so I'm just going to touch on um, a few of the points that uh, I feel are important about this character and this play, playwright. Um, one of the things that I deeply love about Annette is that she completely evolves during the life of the play. And at first when we meet her, she comes across as um, a woman of, of few words, uh, definitely uh, in a marriage that is very unlike the one that she's witnessing uh, with with um, Veronica and Michael, and she starts um, this uh, journey inside of her uh, that enables her to find her voice and to eventually, you know, speak up. Uh, you know, it's fueled by a little rage and a little rum, uh, and state what she needs uh, in a relationship, and you know what she's not getting and how how is she how is she vocalizing that and how is she physically you know demonst you know demonstrating those those needs um, and a lot of it's in the dial comes in the dialogue and you know a lot of it through the action with there's some things I don't want to give away um, but I really think that the playwright wrote a beautiful rich uh, female role that you don't see very often um, of a woman finding her voice um, within the midst of uh, a, the dynamics of a relationship that aren't working for her. Um, the other thing, several things about the, the relevance I wanted to touch on is, um, <laughs> you know, we, there's a cell phone and it it's used throughout the entirety of the show and it becomes uh, a character in and of itself. And it kind of got me thinking about how uh, technology is today compared to when this play was written 10 years ago. And, you know, we, we've, we've, we've evolved that way too. You know, it used to be, you know, emailing and, and talking and now it's, it's message, 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 message. And it's like, we are glued as a society to our phones. I mean, and what are they doing? What is that doing to our relationships? you know, with our family, with our friends, with our coworkers. I mean, everywhere you look, everybody's got a phone and it's be replacing that, that interpersonal, um, that need for connection. And that's one of the things that Annette, I feel, really feels is lacking with her husband is that lack of personal connection. And she finally has just had it with that phone. And I mean, how many times have we had it with that phone? And I'm guilty of it myself, you know? It's like my mom's always like, oh, put that phone away. And I'm like, oh, I'm just checking. You know, we, we are addicted to our technology. And 